Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links will uh, be below for you, okay? All links are below. And if you want to get your own personal reading, you can also go over to the website. Yeah, you can go over to the website book there. You can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. All right, so let's get into this, Gemini. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on for my Gemini. So it looks like, I don't know, some of you could be just trying to find balance uh working really hard finding balance between two different ways of bringing in income so you can have two different jobs or two different businesses or something that you're doing but you're doing a lot you know you're, you're trying to make this work some of you a record i don't know you, you put out a record you're you're in between something or you're going in between something or there's a comparison here between you and something else or um, your your thing and somebody else's also, there could be somebody um, putting time, energy, effort into two different people, two different relationships, okay? And someone is going in between. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on for my Gemini. All right, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are just way too busy for work. I mean, it's way too busy for love. You could be just focused on work. Um, you don't have time, okay? You don't have a lot of time, energy, effort to give something or give some, yeah, or to give to someone. It looks like you, somebody's thinking about you over and over again, or you're thinking about something else over and over again. You're also in that wash, rinse, repeat cycle in terms of your work your business, you're trying to get something to a place where the money just flows in. You don't have to do so much to actually bring it in. I know that this is a love reading, but that's showing up as money also. Um, also, you could be in some cyclical relationship, you know, where you and your person, you go through cycles, you know, highs and lows, ups and downs, ins and outs. Um, it seems as if maybe one person is more invested in the connection than the other. It could even be that another person loves the other person a little bit more. Also, somebody could just be saying, I don't have time. I'm not focused on love right now. I'm really focused on work, money, bringing in uh, income, okay? Making something happen. Let's see what's going on for my Gemini. Oh, we get three cards. Okay. So you've got the tower. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. All of a sudden, there's some sudden upheaval. I, okay, so I just got the message that you knew that this was coming. I don't know. If you you bring the argument on or you bring the frustration on or this is something that always comes up in the connection. Um, because this card talks about maybe an issue that you and your person have. It, so it has historical value. This is something that you guys have a history of doing or there's a history of violent outbursts or there's a history of arguing or breakups to makeups or just um, a history of somebody just tearing their relationship down. Yeah, damn, you definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio. You get the judgment card coming up. So it's like this... Um, it's like the universe is trying to help you come to some determination about what you want to do in terms of this relationship, because it seems as if you're going to get the same energy at each and every time you're going to get the same outcome. All right. You're going to get, um, you know, you're working really hard to be, be in this relationship. Um, you're going to get that you've invested a lot, but at the same time, you're going to always get some sudden event or upsetment or just some frustration that comes and it, it always causes you to you got to make some decision are you in or are you out understand this is the nature of the connection with the judgment card yeah and then the magician coming out yeah 
Um, is this your idea of what a relationship is or what it should be? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have the three of swords. So you have to determine, are we staying together or are we breaking up? Yes, it could, it will be heartbreaking. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if I can continue to do this, whatever this is. Um, you have to determine, you have to use your words, okay? Um, speak your mind. Use your words wisely. I don't know if it's you with the violent outbursts. Because, yeah, this is sometimes a Gemini card, too. But there's an energy of somebody needing to govern themselves accordingly. Need to do something. You need to look at something about you or the relationship altogether. Because it could cause to a breakdown in communication. It could lead to um, isolation, alienation. It could be a third party stirring up trouble within your connection. A third party could be anybody. It could be a mom, a dad, a sister, a brother. It could be another lover. Um, it's the division of the heart. You could also make somebody divided in terms of do they want to stay in a connection, especially if there's always um, violent outbursts, upset, argument. Someone is trying to work hard to stay or to keep something stable or solid. And then there's an eruption here, okay? And it always causes either you, Gemini, or the other person to come to some judgment about what this relationship really is and what it brings. A decision needs to be made. You need to question, is this the ideal relationship? Is this the ideal connection? Is this what you are manifesting or what you have manifested? Is it you and your words and how you formulate your words? Is it someone lying to you, being a magician, manipulating? This is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.